my name is Sam, I'm from usephotoshop.com and today I'm going to help you understand how to use the smudge tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. If you don't already have a photo open, go to File, Open, or use the keyboard shortcut, Control, and the letter O on your keyboard to open an existing photo from your hard drive. I'm using this one here. To find the tool, click on Window Tools to open up the Tools window or the Tools palette. It's located 7th from the top or 5th from the bottom on the left hand side and may be hiding behind the Blur tool or the Sharpen tool. If it is, simply left click, hold down, you will see this menu appear and you can select the last option the smudge tool. This is how it works. Let's zoom in on this by holding down control and pre pressing, pressing plus on my keyboard. And you will see when I use this tool, it looks like I'm smudging the paint or smudging the image. I can undo that by holding down control, alt, and pressing Z on my keyboard. And I can play with this and you will see that this smudges the photo. Now this can be used to create some funny effects for photos and it can be also used for some practical effects as well. Let's go over to here to where in the refrigerator here in the reflection we can see um, the fire detector on the ceiling as well as a fan on the ceiling. Let's get rid of those and let's do that using the smudge tool. Now, Maybe this isn't the best way to do this, but this lets you see what the smudge tool is capable of. Let's click over here on some clean area, and I'll drag that over, and we'll drag this back and forth, and you will see that it blends that whole area together. I can do that again with this fan by simply going over it back and forth and blurring that whole area together. A little overdone there. There we go, and of course we can play with the strength, which is how much it applies the smudge tool. Let's go over here and look at her sweater, so I can show you exactly how the strength works. If I raise it up all the way to 100%, you will see when I use the smudge tool, it really drags and it really smudges 100%. If I drag it down to, say, 19% you will see it doesn't carry as many pixels with it and it doesn't blur it or smudge it as much. You will see as I increase that number it will drag more pixels with it and it will apply more of the smudge effect. So there's a quick tutorial of how to use the smudge tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com